Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and uh, in this tutorial we'll be um, talking about how to animate the Tebow character that we created in the last video. Let's open the project file that we have saved without the animation and all that. So let's go here. So what I have done basically is that if I click play, you can see that there is a light, slight bit of animation happening right now. So we are going to build this animation right from scratch, right? So uh, to do that, let's, let's reset all our animation parameters. To start the animation, we are going to keep the TV head. So select the TV head and I'm going to take the rotate modifier I'll just rotate it so that it touches the uh, table so it's sort of like he's resting on the table so this is a starting pose of the TV head so make sure that you're at zero frame and you're recording the animation so click the record active object button and it creates a keyframe right here so on the TV head uh, on the first frame the mod the TV head is in this position and uh, we can we can hold that pose for maybe up to um, 30 frames so up to 30 frames nothing is going to happen so at zero frame and also at 30th frame uh, this object is in the same position we have to record that position as well so we are going to record this so it means that at zero it's like this at 30 also this is like this now from 30 to 40 there is going to be a slight position change right so let's say in 40 he is slowly lifting his head up so I'm just going to rotate it like this so it's slowly rotating the head like that and I'm going to record that frame as well so if you just drag it back and see that from 0 to 30 it's in the same position and then from 30 to 40 it's slowly lifting its head that's really what we want and then up to 45 or maybe 50 nothing is going to happen right we are going to lock that position so he's going to stay in this position up to 50 and then we will keep it uh, at 60 and we're going to say that he's going to just turn like this right and look in that direction right he will stay like that till maybe 65 we are going to record that again and then he's going to slowly come back to this position right and we will record that and he will stay there for a while let's say 80 we'll record that and we'll go to the last frame and we will slowly just put him back like this so he's going to rest back like that so we have animated our tv head so um, we need one more element to animate so we'll just uh, go to display and make it garage shading so that this is easier for us to see um let me just change the screen color to white so okay cool so it just looks like that and then he goes back so at this point when he is he's coming here i need um, his eyes to blink right so this is what we're going to do so at this position we are going to select the eyes so we're going to keyframe that we're going to move it a little to the back we are going to select the position and we will just push it like this inside in that axis we'll record that position as well and we'll move it further bring it back click the record and then we'll do that so let's play it back again so he's blinking the eyes like that yeah so it's working fine right so once we have you have animated the character so this is a basic tutorial on how to do some keyframe animation on your character so this is what you are going to get at the end okay so once you're happy with your uh, animation what you can do is you can go to render settings go to um, output and you need to select your frame range right this is going to be from 0 to 90 so you need to enter 0 from 0 
to 90 so it's going to render the entire uh, frame go to save and then choose your file format so you can render it as a png sequence if you want or you can render it as a mov file so i'm just going to render it as a png sequence and uh, once it's all set you close it and click on the in picture render every frame will be rendered and it will be displayed in here see you with another video till then bye stay safe